All right, this is Srini, the host and co-founder of Blogcast FM, and I am here at Blog World New York 2012 with a very good friend of mine and a multi-time Blogcast FM guest and somebody who our audience absolutely loves every time we have him, Pat Flynn. How's it going, Pat? Excellent. Thank you. So you've been up to an insane amount that makes us all wonder whether you sleep or not, you know, and whether you're even human. I mean, the amount you accomplish in the last year has been mind-blowing to me. So first, let's talk about the mindset that it takes and how do you spend your time? And, and you know, do people spend their time on things that are actually not productive? Because it seems like you're really, really productive. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, whenever I do something, I make sure that it, it, it's, it's working toward a goal. I mean, a lot of people work just for work's sake and that they think that they're getting stuff done, but they're just doing it to keep themselves busy. You got to make sure that you're actually headed towards something. And a little trick that I like, I like to do is any, any task or project I'm working on, I break it down into a number of smaller goals goals that you can actually check off along the way and, and psychologically when you check those mini goals off you see how much closer you're getting to your end result and that that really helps me and you know since having a baby uh, I have a two and a half year old son and actually another one on the way uh, that's taught me to be really really efficient when I'm working like I don't have as much time as I used to and I'm just like okay I, I got to cut all the distractions out turn everything off and just focus on one thing at a time I mean I know I have a lot going on but when I'm working on something, that's all I'm thinking about, and I'm thinking about getting to that next checkbox on that list. Well, I mean, you know, I interviewed Chris Gillibo recently. I said, you know, Chris, you've accomplished more in three years than a lot of people do in a lifetime. And in a lot of ways, I see you in the same way. I mean, the amount you've accomplished in the last three years is, is just amazing. Do you think there's a mindset difference between people who accomplish at the level that you do and, and the people who kind of, you know, remain in the echo chamber or don't quite get there? What do you think is that difference that differentiates the people who really make it from the ones who don't? Well, I think what differentiates those who who don't make it versus those who do is is just just the the passion. I mean, I think a, a lot of people start with the passion, and then the honeymoon period ends, and then they lose they lose the steam. And I mean, there's a lot of things you can do to keep that honeymoon period going and the excitement going. And the big thing for me is being in a mastermind group and being with with a bunch of people who are helping me along the way. So once that honeymoon period is over, they they're there to pick me back up and and remind me why I'm so excited about something. And I think a lot of people think that they could do everything on their own so they don't they don't reach out and get into groups that can help them and, and and i honestly would not be where i'm at if it wasn't for my mastermind groups and my friends helping me along the way and pushing me and I, th I think that's really important well excellent advice i want to ask you about something else that i know has been a really big thing for you and uh labor of love and a, a passion project that you've gotten to work on and we're going to definitely have you come on Blogcast fm and talk about it in more detail but uh i thought it was amazing when i first heard about it you get you got to be the, the director of social media for a film recently yeah absolutely uh be all because of my podcast actually you know just my podcast is on itunes and, and randomly one day this hollywood producer emails me and says hey i heard you on itunes i would love to you know pick your brain about this movie i'm working on it's an independent movie but it's it's you know it's it's over a 10 million dollar budget and he needed someone to do the social media and web stuff and i was like you know usually i say i say no because you know it's, that's not necessarily passive i mean it's definitely hasn't been a passive venture but uh it just seems so interesting to me hollywood's really interesting and, and it's a whole new world i want to explore and so i said okay let's do it so you know I, i'm getting paid for it um, and and I get to experience this whole new world, and and uh, now I'm actually I've actually been, you know, acquired to work on two more movies after this, and it's just a you know I'm thinking about starting my own like small entity maybe I don't know we'll see, but it's just it's just so amazing and it's great be especially because it's an independent film I get to apply some of what I've learned through blogging and, and podcasting and business for them and help them out and and they're really enjoying it they're like wow these are like new tactics we haven't thought of and I'm like well this is what I do every day and. I think I think cross kind of uh, cr cross industry relationships are very important too. I mean, we all stick with our industry, but 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 a lot of other industries don't know what we're doing, and they're fascinated by us. I mean, just just you know, reach out beyond your normal kind of reach. Well, I think back to something uh, Greg Ciotti from Sparring Mind told me. He said, if you would get out of this blogging and social media world and you took all this knowledge and you went and applied it to another industry, you'd be blown away by the results you could produce for people. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think that's kind of what I'm what I'm doing right now. Well, you have gotten some amazing results for Crooked Arrows. Uh, talk to us about a little bit about some of those. I remember looking at the Facebook fan page likes, the, the landing pages that you built for them. Talk to us a little bit about the process and some of the actual results that you've generated. Sure. I mean, we I, I, when I came on, the Facebook page was about 6,000. They spent two years building that. I mean, a good amount, a good community, really active and engaging. And I, uh, right now, the movie just came out last week. It has 130,000. And it's very active. You know, each post gets you know hundreds of comments, hundreds and thousands of shares, uh, and it's just great. And and you know, 
I've learned a lot along the way too. I mean, I'm, I'm learning about Facebook promotion and, and, you know, you can actually geo target your Facebook posts. I mean, that's been huge for us. Like we can say, Hey Miami, like movies coming out in this theater and it goes out to, you know, a relatively small percentage, but it's really engaging when people see that come up in their posts. Like, Whoa, that post was for me. Like that's highly targeted. So that, that was really cool. And the, the website's getting, you know, 10 to 12,000 hits a day. I get to do keyword research and, the, and kind of blows the producer's minds. They're like, wow, you like can figure this all out. I'm like, it's just there in the data. This is what I do every day. Again, it's just people don't understand this world. And, and I think it's our responsibility as bloggers to reach out and help help other communities and, and other industries. And as a result, you can get paid for it and, and, and you know, just explore different possibilities and, and the options open up for you. Well, Pat, thanks so much for taking the time to join us. Like I said, I'm definitely going to bring you back to Blogcast FM for a, a full-length interview to talk about Crooked Arrows and all the work you've been doing. Uh, always, always a pleasure to hang out with you at Blog World. Awesome, man. Thank you.